Ladies and gentlemen, hey hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Over the past few weeks, we've broken down a lot of the best weapons and loadouts to use here in Warzone. And those were uh, the uh, the top dogs, if you will, right? The, uh, the best of the best. And those are the weapons you'll oftentimes see everyone using in game. You know, the Grau, the M4, the MP5, so on and so forth. So today I wanted to change things up a bit and break down the top 5 underrated weapons to use. The weapons that are still really good and really consistent, but maybe just not as popular as some of the others out there. So if you enjoy the video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. And of course, if you are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe to stay up to date with the latest Call of Duty news, intel, updates, class setups, and just about everything else in between. So getting right into the first underrated loadout, this one is all about the Kilo 141. This is of course the very first assault rifle you end up unlocking in the game, multiplayer or warzone, it's all the same. Meaning if you are a lower level and you don't have a ton of other weapons unlocked, the Kilo 141 is going to be a great choice of weaponry to level up and unlock all the attachments for, as it's honestly a really consistent weapon in general. Now, I don't think it's the single best AR in the entire game, but it is very easy to use in my opinion. The recoil is pretty minimal, the damage is consistent, especially in those medium ranges, and it is fairly mobile as well, all around making for a very solid weapon. Plus, you can pair it with a variety of different secondaries, and they'll all complement it pretty nicely. You know, it can hold its own up close and at a range, but you could always run a secondary that excels in either of those places and it'll be a very well-balanced class to use. And I'll give some examples of what I like to run here in just a moment. But as far as the attachments on the Kilo go, first things first, as always, we gotta have that monolithic suppressor. It is going to keep you off the minimap just like all the other suppressors do, but it is also going to add some damage range to the weapon as well which is something none of the other suppressors do, making this a must-have attachment. I also have the SOCOM barrel. This is a nice mix of range and mobility, whereas the Prowler barrel is a little heavier, but it does have more range. So I guess you can sort of pick your poison there. But I honestly think the SOCOM barrel works just fine for what we need it for. I also use the Solo Zero Optics Mini Reflex, as I'm not a huge fan of the iron sights. I've got the Commando Foregrip on there to help with the recoil some, and also these 60 round mags to help with squad engagements and just cleaning up enemies in general. Now for the secondary here, this applies to all the setups that we've got today, so we'll just go over it once here. And basically, if you want some help for close range fights, I think having something like the Renetti pistol works great. Currently, I use the Desperado Pro Compensator, the MK3 Burst Mod, the Lightweight Trigger, the 27 round mags, and the XRK Speed Grip too. But you could also make them akimbo and replace the grip or the compensator and make them even better for those CQC engagements. Then on the other end of the spectrum, if you want some extreme range with this thing, you could always run the HDR sniper like I was in the beginning clips. And uh, for that, I use the monolithic suppressor, the pro barrel, the TAC laser, the thermal sniper scope, and the stalker scout stock as well. Now getting into the perks, you could either use cold-blooded ghost and amped or cold-blooded overkill and amped depending on which secondary you want to use. But that said, if you do go with the sniper, I would suggest grabbing a second loadout later on into the match and switching to ghost to stay off the radar. Then finally on all of my setups, I also rock the C4 and the heartbeat sensor to counter vehicles and to gain some extra information on where my enemies might be. And, once again, the secondary perks and equipment remain the same on all the loadouts that we'll be breaking down today. So jumping into our next loadout, this time around we are focused on the PKM, which I honestly think is overlooked primarily because it is a light machine gun. You know, LMGs are naturally heavier, ultimately they're slower, and no one likes to be running around to the next zone with an LMG in their hands because it's just not ideal. However, the PKM, at least in my own opinion, and with the attachments that I have on it, doesn't really feel all that much like an LMG. I would say it feels relatively similar to an assault rifle, but the bonus here is that you've got a very large magazine by default. So you don't need to use an extended mag, and you can easily wipe squads and clean up players left, right, and center. So here I like to use the monolithic suppressor, the heavy barrel to maintain some recoil control and extend the range, 
the no stock option to give it better mobility and that's going to make it feel a whole lot lighter the snatch grip which is actually unique to the pkm and this increases the control and also makes the aim down sight speed faster which is a combo you don't normally see so you got to take advantage of it when you can then finally we've got the stippled grip tape aka the stippy grippy as always and once again you could either use a faster pistol as a secondary here you could rock a sniper you can't really go wrong with any secondary here because the pkm is pretty consistent at basically any range now loadout number three for today is all about the ak-47 this is one of the last assault rifles you end up unlocking actually i think it is the very last one outside of the dlc weapons so you won't have this one available for a hot minute if you are just starting out but once you rank this thing up and get those attachments unlocked, it is going to be a powerhouse. I will say, this thing's ease of use is not incredible. It does have some pretty hefty recoil. It's not super easy to stay on target with it all the time. And that's kind of why I think it may be overlooked so much. But once you can sort of master this thing, it will certainly pay off because, as I said, this thing is a powerhouse. It does shred through armor and health alike and it is going to be a very strong weapon to use. So for my attachments here, for starters, I've got the monolithic suppressor yet again, the skeleton stock, and I do also have the revolution variant to give it that sort of coat hanger look. You can't get that otherwise. I've also got the commando foregrip, the 75 round drum mags, because honestly, you gotta use an extended mag with this thing. The default 30 rounds definitely does not cut it, at least in my opinion. And the 75 round drums compared to the 40 round mags don't really feel all that much heavier and they don't really make you all that much slower. Then finally, I've also got the tripled stip grape to round things out here. Now for loadout number four, we've got the one and only SMG for this video. And that is none other than the P90. Now don't get me wrong, there are a lot of other underrated SMGs out there the Bison, the Striker, but the P90 I think stands out a little bit more because one, it does already have that larger magazine. Its range is a bit better than say the Bison's. Its recoil is very minimal. Obviously it's lightweight since it is an SMG. And, uh, and basically it is a very well-rounded SMG. And I think it definitely is overlooked for say the MP5 and the MP7. So here I've got the suppressor that is of course monolithic the Retribution Barrel to extend the range, which will help with those medium range fights some more, the Tack Laser to help with the speed and agility, the Fly Strap Stock to do more of the same, and also the classic Stippy Grippy per usual. Now for this one, I would say the better bet would be to use a Sniper for a secondary, since the range on the P90 does become less consistent when you are pretty far away. And of course, this thing is already going to dominate in CQC fights, so a close quarters based secondary really is not all that necessary. Then the last loadout that we've got for today is all about the M13. And this is probably my favorite out of all the weapons that we've covered in this video. I've mentioned this loadout in the past even. It is, uh, it's just a flat out beast. It's gonna shred at really any range, especially in some of those longer range fights. You'll notice the damage drop off doesn't seem incredibly harsh. And uh, yeah, it might not be the M4A1 or the Ram or the Grau, but the M13 is definitely not to be taken too lightly. This thing can and will be a formidable opponent on more than one occasion. Now here I am rocking the Monolithic Suppressor, the Tempest Marksman Barrel, the GI Mini Reflex, the Skeleton Stock, although if you did want some more control on this, you could trade that out for the Commando Foregrip, and I do also have the 50 round mags on there and that's pretty standard. And altogether, this setup makes the M13 easier to use and even better in more medium and long range fights, which of course you can't go wrong with here in Warzone. So with all of that being said, those are effectively the top five underrated loadouts as of right now, and that is going to wrap things up for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, or if you just found it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. And of course, if you're new here, and you want to stay up to date with the latest Call of Duty news, intel, updates, leaks, and everything else in between, feel free to subscribe with your notifications turned on. That way you'll always know whenever I upload a new video. As always, if you want to check out any of my partners, be sure to use code IMMORTAL on all SCUF, G Fuel, Control Freak, and Respawn products. All of those links can be found in the description below. And once again, thanks so much for tuning in. 
Until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.